Hey, it's Steve from the Galveston School of Cooking, and today I'm making whipped cream and strawberry glaze with a $42 Cuisinot stick blender from Costco. There it is. We are making whipped cream. That's right. And right here is, I think everyone would agree, this is the standard machine for making a whipped cream. This happens to be the KitchenAid Classic, which I've probably had for 10 or more years, probably 15 years maybe. The only issue is when you try to make small amounts of whipped cream because the bowl is so deep and it's got this little ridge at the bottom and the tip of the whisk doesn't get down there. So if you wanna make like a cup of whipped cream or less, it's not optimal. This thing, is almost seven inches deep and it's got that little ring in the bottom i was looking for another option and i found this at costco 42 dollars is cuisinart stick blender and it's got a whisk and stick blender for making soups of purees so let's give it a try measuring a container that says 2000 ml max or 64 ounces max right there i don't need this to make quick cream so i'll set that over there all right so what i do need is this let's see what this looks like well it's got a a little gear in the bottom this is pretty sturdy let me grab one of my handhelds. Uh, this one's a little bit thinner. You can see the the pieces are a little thinner than this than probably what you're used to if you use a handheld. Much thinner than the KitchenAid. But let's try it. All right, let's put this together. It looks like that just goes into there and there's a little release button here. So let's just put that on there. We'll push the button and it comes right off no issue there it's on release button easy so there's speeds on top oh there's like look can you hear it so there's little increments from low to high i haven't used this so i'm gonna start on low well that's low that's pretty good let's see what happens Okay, let's go to like medium. Okay, and then high, let's see what happens. Okay, so let's try it. Let's make some whipped cream. Just a standard stainless steel bowl. I'm going to put about a cup of whipping cream in here. I've got my cup of whipping cream, a quarter cup of sugar. Add that in, homemade vanilla extract. And I'm gonna do one teaspoon. This smells so good. If you get a chance, go back, go back and watch that video. It is so good. All right, let's see what this thing will do. Pressing the lock and then the on. Yeah, that one is standing up right there. Yep, and it's not folding over. Nice. It gets a thumbs up from me, especially with strawberries. Speaking of strawberries, let's use it to make a strawberry glaze. Let's see how this does. I hope it doesn't, let me put it on. Let me put it on low. I hope it doesn't splatter because it is boiling hot. <laughs> let me make sure. All right, here we go. Maybe I should have put on uh, an apron. All right, here we go. Angle it against the angle it against the edges so it pulls some of those pieces in. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. It's looking good. Just a little bit of solid left in there. All right, keep going. Okay, I'm using a, a slide. 
slotted spoon to see if there's any solids left in there. And no, that's good. This little Cuisinart gets a thumbs up from me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And this is Steve from the Galveston School of Cooking. And I will see you next time. I'll push this. Um, nothing's happening. <laughs> okay, directions. Instruction booklet. When all else fails, read the directions. Ah. So we have to push lock down first and then push. There we go.